All right, so here we basically got a 20 foot field cultivator. It's got four foot wings and approximately, oh, it's a 13 foot base. It may actually be called a 21 foot. 20 is a safe number. Um, the shanks have a little play. We just got this off of a liquidation. Some of them have been rebuilt, like that one's tight. This one's got play. Some of them just need tightened up. Uh, hydraulic mold. It does have the walking tandem. It does have the spike pair with the rolling basket in the back. I'd say it'll do a fantastic job. The tires are a little bit weather checked. I think we pulled it in. It does have non-factory welds. Okay. Right up here on the tongue, there's a non-factory weld right here, I do believe. And then back there, they added on that, that hair and stuff, so they've reinforced that. Oh, that's kind of not factory. I'd say it's on there for support for what all they got on the back, because there's some weight on the back. It is a little bit back heavy with that, uh, with that uh, crumbler on the back. But it's mounted on, you talk about high dollar, you mount those crumblers like that, it's a number for, so it makes them a little bit back heavy. It does a fantastic job of finishing. Right out of the field, and uh, we can set it on your trailer. The base on this thing, so as far as like transport, it's going to be like 14 foot wide, okay, to the outside of everything. And that's to the outside of everything. That's outside the hinge because that stuff hangs outside that a little bit. So, um, just to give you guys an idea, but these 226s, they were good little field cultivators. Uh, the frame, I think, in general, is pretty decent. Like I say, a few non-factory welds around the tongue, but um, and besides what they have welded on for reinforcement to the back, I, I think it's pretty solid. The cylinders look like they're operational. Uh, little weather checking on the tires, so they may have to do some tire work here one of these days, but uh, it's going to sell absolute on Tractor House Auction.